so I'm going to start my workout with skipping. Now I've said this before, skipping is not just my favorite cardio exercise but it's also a boxer's workout and it's part of a boxer's workout because of how good and calorie burning and fit this little bit of cardio can make you. So I do about 10 to 15 minutes of skipping and I usually do 2 minutes at a time. I take a 30 second break and then I continue again for 2 minutes. This interval training will also help you lose a lot of weight and burn those calories faster. Plus, it warms up your body to get into that weight training. Let's go! boys and girls so once you've completed your cardio I hope you've done about 10 to 15 minutes I'm going to show you a full body workout today which means lower body upper body and a kick ass core workout um, once you do these exercises continuously for say literally a week you're definitely going to see results you're going to be sore on the first day if you're not used to this so be prepared but remember pain is the okay so the first exercise for our lower body we're going to do is called donkey kicks. It's honestly a little hard and a little painful but it's one of the best when it comes to your glutes. You have to get into a cat pose and basically with one leg, keep it like this, keep it bent, just kick up and you're activating this area. So make sure you don't extend your knee, keep it bent and just bring it in, push it up. Bring it in, push it up. Alright, so that's 20 reps on one leg. We're going to do another 20 reps on the other leg. If you're a beginner or if you have not done this before or if you've even started exercising after a long time, I would suggest you start off with 10 reps per leg. Because we're going to do three sets of this, basically three rounds of this exercise. Ready? Okay. Singles, now I'm going to do a particular version of push up so you can find a windowsill, desk, whatever. I'm using a desk right now. Make sure your hands are on the edge of the desk, okay? Your stomach has to be parallel to the floor and you have to be holding your stomach in. Alright, I'm going to do 10 reps because like I said before, we've got 3 rounds to go. Alright, ready, set, chest out, back slightly flattened and go. That was 10. Now, for the third set of this round, we're going to do crisscross bicycle crunches. Alright? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lie flat, shoulders back. Okay? I want you to use your hands to support your neck because I know a lot of people have a neck issue. Now, bend your knees and start crunching. So you bring alternate hand to alternate leg and notice I'm lifting my shoulder up. Your knee should not cross your waist, okay? And the leg should not touch the floor, but it should be about two inches above the floor when you're extending. Okay. 
already situated on your stool, cabinet, whatever you have around the house, and you just lift up. Maintain your balance, come down slowly, okay? You're gonna feel a burn on your hamstring, so you know it's working. Okay, I'm tired. 